Next, I am going to show you how to protect the memory bytes and we know that in this tag there are 1024 protection bits and each bit corresponds to a single byte. Now, I will assume that I have finished writing my data for this entire 16 bytes and I would like to protect it. So, in order to do that, you have to put a tick against each byte. Now, as soon as you tick here, the corresponding the data block uh, turns red, so you know which bytes you are trying to lock. Okay, I have ticked all the 16 uh, protection bits and I am going to hit this uh, W. So, there is a, just a warning, it tells you that locking is a one way, you cannot undo it. Now, however, I got uh, the right protection error and all my ticks have gone as well. Let us see what the software has done. The software has indeed used this command called compare and protect and this command has written me an error and in fact, this is the address followed by the error and after that, I am trying to read the, the protection memory of the entire 16 uh, bytes. This is so that just to check uh, to make sure the protection did work. However, you can see nothing got protected. All protection bits are zero. Keep in mind zero is unprotect, one means protected. That is what the documentation says. If you go back to the documentation, it says uh, the compare and protect. It is uh, mentioned here. Now, we have gone through this command byte by byte. If you see, this command is not uh, very straightforward because in addition to the standard CLA, INS, you know, P1, P2, LC, you have to put the data in a different format. It's 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. These are all fixed constants followed by the address followed by the bytes. What exactly is happening inside the tag is the data is compared with the actual data stored in the EEPROM. So, this is the data I am passing. What the tag, if you look at this documentation here, here also they explain how uh, the protection works. It is, you have to send the matching data before you can protect it. That is the reason why I mentioned, you know, please read this document, it is very, very interesting. Now, however, even in spite of sending the data here, if you look at uh, the data, this is exactly the same data which I got here, right, for 53 to 20. So, 53 to 20, these are the 16 uh, bits. Okay, however, I got an error. Let us see how that error matches in the documentation. It says, so we got this error and it says the address is only returned if an error occurred while comparing the data bytes. Looks like something to do with the comparing. It is exactly what I have um, emailed, okay, OHID asking them, you know, why I am getting this error. And the corresponding status code is 6A and 82, which is, we got 6A and 82, it says file not found or address uh, byte does not exist. So, I am not very sure why. However, if I try to lock any cell, any data with the default value FF, we know that a brand new tag has got the value FF. I am going to log this entire block. Now, nobody want to have the data which is FFF here, but let us try for the sake of understanding what the, uh, how to use this uh, uh, memory protection command. I am going to use the same command, but this time all my data is FFs. See the data which is on the screen is FF and data that is on this uh, tag is also FF. And in fact, we had the same scenario before as well, but we know that did not work. Now, here I am going to write. Now, this time I got the right protection ok. Look at that, it worked for me. The same command worked if I send FF and look at the response is 9000. After this uh, compare and protect, 
my read protection command there's no separate you know this is the same command we have been using to read all the 1024 bits of uh, 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 protection bits but this time I'm reading just I'm reading 18 so you can see all these ones they corresponds to the lock now to check that it indeed locked I'm going to close take the card back now connect now look at that the write protection was was a success here now this is how you protect the data now you don't have to protect always you know everything all the 16 bytes I can just to make sure you know that we, we understand what you're trying to do I'm going to have this and this but I'm going to have a different value for now before I protect I'm going to write oh so write error we know why because I'm not authenticated authenticate write the write is successful now I know that the memory in the tag as well as my software have this uh, value ABB to make sure it is indeed written correctly you can use this uh, little R command here R link here figure R and you can see that this is the data read out from the tag okay right the next thing what I want to do is I'm going to lock these four bytes now what we know so far the lock should work for these two bytes and should not work for these two let's see what we have got now click on W now write protection error not very sure why now everything you know nothing not even single looks like you know it's locked the first two let me check you know what yeah looks like you know uh, it did not lock all the four bytes just the first two got locked because the first two is the FFs now this is one thing you know you have to uh, keep in mind probably you can also check with the HID global and uh, get some answers from them as well next I'm going to show you how to change the password so now to change the password the command used is called the modify password so in the modify password you have to send both the old pin and the new pin so the old pin is two bytes and new pin is two bytes you'll end up sending four bytes and to do that I think you have to be in a authenticated uh, state now I know my old password is this I'm going to change this as EAA all is okay now I'm going to hit this uh, change password and I have lost so many tags uh, by forgetting the password so so if you look at the the command I have sent it's a change PSC I'm sending my old password in the new password and I got a response as 9000 so that shows the password is changed to make sure so just go back and give a read for this you can see the password is indeed changed and also look at the reset uh, uh, error counter as set to all FFF okay now I'm going to take out the tag read now if you try to authenticate with this you should get an error and the counter gone to six i'm going to put aa and authenticate it's success i'm going to chain back to ffs so that i don't have to scribble this password on my tag so i'm going to change so i've changed the password back to ff
Now, uh, this software also got some shortcut here. If you want to protect, say for example, uh, starting from byte 1112 up to here, so you don't have to keep clicking individually. You can just enter the address. I'm going to show you how to lock from uh, from address 112. So starting from this to this number, which is one less than 128. 127 and hit a lock so not sure what has happened here so I got error 6986 so not very sure whether it's something to do with my software or 6986 says command not allowed it could be something to do with the password we just changed. Now I'm going to take it out. So connect this, read. Now in fact, if you look at that, you know, the, the locking has indeed worked. However, the error message the response or the status code was something different so probably I have to check the software I'm going to give it a try again so authenticate so I'm going to lock from 128 so the more you lock so it'll be almost destroying the tag and I'm going to lock up to one less than 160 159 then hit the lock Now there is no response here. If you look at that, yeah. Okay, I think it's the you got this nine zero. It is successful. However, the read, the protection read, you know, this is wrong. So something to do probably this uh, command. Now if you want to see the locked, click on a read here. Look at that if you read you can see it's locked okay so apologies for that I have to check you know what's wrong with the with this you know read command following you know following this nothing to do with the the reader writer it's just something a, a small bug probably in this uh, coding now what we saw is you know how to read and write and how to change the password and um, how to you know uh, how to protect and the last thing is I'm going to show you how to change the, the error counter. Now the question is why do you have to change the error counter? So this is something part of any probably any software development. Assume that you are a developer, okay, you have finished writing everything you know to this card and you want to limit the number of retries a user can do. To, you want to reduce it to maybe two so if somebody tries to put the wrong password more than two you want the card to auto lock it so there are so many reasons why one would want to change this error counter now in theory you should be able to modify the error counter without authentication that's what documentation says and that's what you can do with the ACR 39U now I'm going to, in fact you don't have to read as well, but I'm going to read here. Get rid of all these locks. Now assume that we have finished with this tag, we have personalized it, we got everything we want, all the data wise, all the protection bits and we have finalized it and we want to lock this to just two retries. And the right command here, now you got a change EC error. The binary update command and writing it to the memory uh, 1021. It's a 6982. The 6982 update binary command says it's something to do with the password verification. So look at that 6982 says you know the security code. Now you have to authenticate, but I'm going to show you know in the later videos uh, that in ACR. 39 you don't have to do this authentication authenticate and this time I'm going to set this uh, to 2 and say write and write successful 
And next time, you know, let's say what you're going to see when you try to read the value of uh, the memory 1021. So the documentation says, you know, 1021 is where, you know, this error counter is stored. So read. And I also got a separate uh, command to read here. Now you can see it has got, say, six zeros. Not very sure what six zero. Yeah, it's got six zero. Sorry, this is, if you count the number of, uh, number of ones in uh, six zero, it is a zero, one, one, zero, and zero, 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 zero. So you got two ones, and this corresponds to a number of retries. So I've got a command here. If you hit this read command, it just, you know, it's a simple memory read command. Send the command for the address 1021 and you get the data 60 and I'm decoding that 60. Uh, if you're a developer, you're counting number of uh, ones, you know, in the 60 and you just are set this uh, box. Okay, I figured out what the problem was. Uh, that was a programming error uh, that's been fixed. Now, what we tried to do was to, to lock in bulk. So I want to lock from memory address 192 and go up to say 1 less than 224. So that will be 223. And before you do the authenticate, and I'm going to say lock. Now this was a bit of a, a lengthy process uh, in the program. Now after the lock is done, I'm trying to read the entire the 1024 uh, bits of uh, you know, memory bits and try to show this uh, locks and unlock thing. And you can see here uh, this uh, locking indeed worked. And so that's all you know. In this video, we have learned so many things. More or less, you learned everything about SLE. Uh, 5528. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and more and more videos are going to come and you'll be the first to know about my new videos. Thank you.